Hello there, my fellow cat named Snakes, and welcome to another dose of the Battle Mechs of Battletech. Today we're gonna be tackling a light mech with considerable pedigree for once. Another thing of note about it is its rivalry with another kind of light battle mech called the Cougar. Ironically, both are very similar in both appearance and loadout. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Adder, also known as the Puma. I'm your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? To begin with, a few technical stats on the design. It is in the light category, weighing at 35 tons, a top speed of 97 kph, and a rounded cost of 7 million sea bells. Codenamed the Puma by the Inner Sphere forces who first engaged it, the Adder is a light clan Omnimech, serving as either a direct or indirect fire support unit in many of its configurations. The Adder is also capable of carrying a relatively heavy weapon load, which can surprise an unsuspecting enemy even at a longer range. The Adder was designed, unsurprisingly, by Clan Star Adder, in preparation for the invasion of the Inner Sphere. First produced in 3010, this formidable mech was actually designed as an Omnimech capable of emulating the weapon configurations of Inner Sphere medium battle mechs. Or at least the ones reported by the Wolves Dragoons. Some of these configurations, including the B, C and D of the other, are still used as of 3050. Despite producing what was widely considered a formidable design, the Star Adders didn't manage to maintain exclusive possession of the Adder. By 3045, it was common throughout other clans. The development of the Adder was tied to the restructuring of the Star Adder's Kappa Galaxy to emulate an Inner Sphere force, to provide the training opponent for other Star Adder units. A number of the main configurations of the Adder were designed specifically for Kappa Galaxy, or they are based on intelligence provided by the Wolves Dragoons. The Adder frees up as much weight as possible by using a weight-saving endosteel chassis, carrying 6 tons of ferrofibrous armor for protection, and mounting a lightweight 210 rated XL engine. All of these give the mech a top speed of 97.2 kph. This effort to save weight resulted in a mech that dedicates almost half its weight, about 16 tons, to pod space. A rivalry has existed between Adder and Cougar pilots ever since that second one was introduced in 3050. Particularly aggressive Jade Falcon Cougar pilots pass even greater challenges in favor of stamping out what they perceive to be an inferior mech. Khan Malvina Hazen's bid to take Farcad would see the Falcons engage an enraged second royal gods on the Tatiana Islands, where a number of Adder vs Cougar duels would play out. Star Captain Gehenna, angling for her Helmer Blood Aim nomination, engaged two Steiner Adders simultaneously in a strip of marshy jungle. Exploiting the tangle of vines to confront the opponents at close range, Gehenna managed to disable one of the Adders while taking only a few hits from the PPC. She then tried to use her Cougar's jump jets to herd the second Adder. Apparently Cougars can pounce, but Adders can strike. In an explosion of foliage, the Lyran Adder charged headlong into Gehenna's mech and fired its SRMs at point-blank range. They tore through the armor weakened by his comrades' PPCs, and the Cougar collapsed with widespread structural damage, taking Gehenna's chance at a blood name with it. And that's only one story. Equipment-wise, the Adder has a fixed flamer in a mount that cannot be removed out of the mech. The main configuration adds a basic but powerful arsenal of two ER PPCs, which are linked to an advanced targeting computer. This allows the mech to fire at long range with deadly accuracy. To help handle the massive heat out of the ER PPCs, it has an extra double heatsink. Even with this though, the mech has to use a volley strategy to prevent it from overheating. Now, while the story of the Adder is not especially rich, what is rich about it is its number of configurations. Also, do keep in mind that not all the pictures you see are of the actual variants. Configuration A is a long-range missile support variant. It has two LRM-20 launchers, allowing it to bombard the enemy at long range. For close combat, it has two small pulse lasers. Configuration B is a long-range sniper, carrying an LBX Autocannon 5, 
backed up by a highly accurate large pulse laser for long-range engagements. To protect itself at close ranges, it has another two ER medium lasers. This was one of the configurations designed as a result of intelligence out of the Wolf's Dragoons. Configuration C is a long-range bombardment configuration. It has two LRM-15 launchers and takes advantage of their lack of a minimum range by carrying a NARC missile beacon, which can attach homing pods to enemy mechs for increased missile accuracy. For closer range, it has just one medium pulse laser. This thing was primarily designed by the Star Adders for use in the Kappa Galaxy. Configuration D is another sniper, having an ER large laser and an Ultra Autocannon 5 for long range engagements. It also has two Streak SRM 2 launchers to finish off opponents at closer range. This was another of the variants produced as a result of the intelligence from the Dragoons. Configuration E has two ATM 9 launchers, which can fire ammo specialized for long, medium, and short range. For close combat, it has an additional four micro pulse lasers. Configuration H is a brawling variant. It has two heavy large lasers as the main weapons, backed up by the fixed flamer. To help dissipate the max heat, it has six extra double heat tanks. Configuration I has an improved heavy medium laser and two ER medium lasers. Two SRM6s are mounted in the side torsos with one ton of ammo each. To handle the heat load, four extra heat sinks are installed, two in each arm. Configuration J carries the huge Hyper Assault Gauss 20 as the main gun, giving it a mighty punch. This is backed up by four anti-personnel Gauss rifles, which are capable of destroying infantry. This thing was first observed being used by the clan Hell's Horses in action on Paulus Prime. Configuration K has an AC-2 with one ton of ammo in the right arm, while it has one ER large pulse laser in the left arm. Extra protection comes from a laser anti-missile system. Configuration L is apparently a light striker variant. Each of its arms has two LRM-5s and one ton of ammo, while the side torsos have one ER medium laser. An ECM suite provides electronic warfare support, and six jump jets are installed for a 180 meter jump range. Configuration S is an anti infantry specialist. Each of the arms has three machine guns, while each side torso carries five more machine guns, fed by one ton of ammo in each arm. For heavier targets, each arm carries a pair of medium pulse lasers. An ECM suite and active probe suppresses radio reports and sensor data from opposing forces, while also granting situational awareness. Configuration T has an ERPPC with a PPC capacitor in each arm. An extra double heat sink is in the left torso, but to handle all the heat loads, the right torso carries a single coolant pod. This may also be a variant of the prime configuration, but it was not confirmed. Finally, configuration TC was used in the Battle of Tukaid. It carried five machine guns and a half a ton of ammo in each arm, supplemented by an active probe, small pulse laser, and an anti-missile system in the left torso. The right torso also carried a large pulse laser for use against hardened targets. All the guns were tied into a targeting computer. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Adder, aka the Puma, Clan Omnimech, for today. You know Battletech has a sense of humor when you got a mech named after a snake, alternatively known by a feline name in the Inner Sphere. All the while while having a rivalry with another mech actually named after a feline, the Cougar. Oh, and let's not forget the Adder's slightly bigger cousin, the Pouncer. Anyway, what about you? Is the Adder among your favorite light mechs? I know it is among mine after this. I mean, two PPCs on a light mech? What else do you want? As always, I look forward to reading your thoughts on this thing in the comments below. If you found the episode at least informative, do click the like, share and subscribe buttons for future content. Thanks a lot for watching and have an awesome and healthy day. This is GDN signing out.